process. And that will not come off. This is a temporary tattoo. My temporary, the company line, it lasts about a week to 10 days. And so long as you keep body lotions off the tattoo, where you put the tattoo, body lotions have an oil base to them. Anything with oils will take it off faster. So to start this, you want to take the oils off the skin where you're putting the tattoo. What takes oils off the skin? Remember? Alcohol. Alcohol. This also has three layers to it. <clears throat> the bottom layer is paper, the middle layer is rubber, the outside layer is plastic. So what you need to do is remove the paper layer from the rubber and the plastic, set it onto the area that we just took the oils off, press down, don't break the arm, but press down on it, take your nail, rub over the entire area of the stencil, and then you need to remove the plastic without the rubber. In order to do that, you don't pull it, you peel it back like this, very gently, just peel it off like this, and then, and then it comes with this glue. This glue is FDA approved for the skin. You can use this on any part of your body except your eyelid. I'm not sure why, but don't use it on your eyelid. You're not supposed to do that. And it is hypoallergenic. You want to fill in the entire area of the stencil wherever you see the skin exposed. And it is hypoallergenic. I started to say what that means is uh, there isn't any latex in here to cause irritation or itching on the skin. So, some people are allergic to latex. This is latex free. It's considered medical glue, believe it or not. And then you're supposed to wait about a minute. You want it to dry clear. So it's completely clear. You always want to start on the bottom where you're going to put the tattoo because, or the glitter. Because once the glitter hits the glue, you guys, you can't change it. That's the challenging part. So all I'm doing is, I'm not really painting it, I'm just pushing it onto where it is. There's one. I just no, no, <laughs> as in no. Just doing all. You just take it off in all different directions like this. And you just clean it up. Like this. And that will not come off. What if I want to shower? No, nope. soap and water does not take it off. The only it's cosmetic glitter. Cosmetic means the pieces are very, very tiny. So I can take my finger, I can jam it in here, it's not going to cut my skin. Be careful, don't mix this glitter up with glitter you buy at a hobby shop, you guys, for uh, what do you call it? arts and crafts. Those pieces are very big. That could potentially cut your skin. Only use cosmetic glitter. You can use this on nails. You put the base coat on, the glitter on, the, um, the top coat over it. It does work on nails. As well as, I, had, I, never, I haven't seen this, but some teachers have used it. Well, you can mix it with the powders. It is small enough to mix with the powders, which is cool. Oh. Fill these stencils is three dollars. One of these tubes of glitter will fill on average about 75 of these stencils. So it goes a long way. The point is if you book a birthday party, you got to make sure you're at the party when the parents come and pick up all their kids. You got 20 parents picking their kids up at the end of that birthday party, that's when you don't want to be shy. Walk up to each parent. You're going to have parents wanting, you, wanting tattoos. You're definitely going to have parents asking and give it to them. But introduce yourself to them, each parent. Tell them, look, I'd love to get some of your business. Have your business cards with you. Give one to each parent. Say, look, come on into my salon. Bring all your kids in. I'll give them all a free tattoo if you get a service from it. What you're doing there is you're trying to promote yourself outside the beauty salon. Um, your goal should be one birthday party a month. You do one birthday party a month from your salon. <clears throat> excuse me. At the end of the year, you're going to be in front of a lot of people that normally would not go into your salon. And that's a way, like I said, to promote yourself. Now, you could charge for it. The company line, you're supposed to charge about $10 to $15. I've been doing this now for, whatever, three years, I guess. This competes with henna. You guys know what henna is? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Henna's being done on the streets for like $15. I think a more realistic price is about $7 for this. Um, <clears throat> I did one of these parties with my wife. I don't do a lot of parties because I travel, but it was for a one-year-old. There was only eight kids there. I thought we'd be out of there in a half an hour. 
We were there for over two hours because each one of those little kids wanted 12 colors on each one of these things. So you need to kind of know the makeup of your party before you make a, you know, charge them per hour. Because some, some people get $100 an hour for this, so, uh, but it's, it's discretionary. That brush, it's, un, it's un, unbelievable um, what, you can, what you can do. You can do face painting, fill in existing tattoos. It's, you know, it's unlimited as far as that goes. So, the kit A and a kit B. The kit A comes with eight different colors. It's a mixture of the primary colors, the gold, the silver. I think they put the turquoise in, that one that we used. It's real popular, the pink, and I think the lime green. It comes with a set of brushes, the glue. The glue lasts about 75 stencils. I think I forgot to say that. And it comes with 50 different stencils. The stencils are very similar to what's on the poster. Half are for um, adults, half are for children. They mix them up, mix the two up. Anyway, the student cost on that, the Kit A is $69. If you charge $7, like what we just did, $7 times the 50 stencils, it brings you back a return of about $350. So it's a, it's a pretty good return on your investment. Then there's the B Kit. This is for a beauty salon. That comes with this palette that you see here. It comes with all 30 of the colors, the set of brushes, two glues, I think it's 150 stencils. Uh, the student cost on that is $179. If you charge $7 times 150 stencils, it brings you back a return of a little over $1,000, so it's a bigger return.